Hey guys, you've got your com devs Kiminary here, and we're about to show you a sneak peek of the Valley of the Yetis DLC. Valley of the Yetis is available now, but season pass owners can start playing it right away. And for this DLC, we're going to be in hostile Kareti territory we've never seen before. And I have a feeling we're going to be facing more than just Yetis here. Let's jump right on in. Oh. Oh. I'm just a pilot! We crashed upon the ridge! Please, don't hurt me! Why are you here? Shit. Someone has a pilot. So we have just crashed into the Himalayas, and our pilot appears to be kidnapped, possibly while we were unconscious. So right up ahead there, we can see a plume of smoke designating an outpost, like we saw in the main game. So buckle up and let's jump off this cliff. Now, the Valley of the Yetis is largely controlled by a cult, and so those are the guys you're going to be fighting in the DLC. So we're going to take this outpost out from under them. And once we've taken it over, we own this place. This becomes our base because they're going to try to take it back every single night. They are, and we're not going to let them. Nope. And we are going to help ourselves out by fortifying our base and getting some sweet upgrades to our relay station. You'll notice that the interior is uh, acceptably creepy. Super crazy looking, actually. Yep, that's cultists. So we're going to have to get stronger. So one of the cool things that you can do here is actually buy different uh, mods for the relay station to kind of beef it up a bit, you know? So we're going to buy these north barrel traps. They're going to attach themselves to the trees around our base and make it slightly easier to blow up our enemies. As if by magic. Here we can see the map of the valley, and it shows you all the different side quests that you can tackle to get you different wards and upgrades uh, for your outpost. So you don't have to just buy them from the outpost, you can also earn them. Like the winners we are, we've already survived two nights, and we're about to give you a peek at the third night. Now what you need to know is that each night becomes more and more challenging, so it's always good to keep upgrading your camp. So luckily we were able to perform some side quests in the open world to give us even more boosts at night. And as you can see, Assault 1 is on its way. That's it, a lot of these mounted guns we have here were actually unlocked during side quests. Now they're gonna keep rolling up and you just have to keep stopping them while patting out the fire. You see, these are the barrel traps. Money well spent on those barrel traps, honestly. Yep, buying those really helped out here. So you can see why they're so important. If you've played this before and you've experienced a night wave, you might have a better idea of where they're gonna come in. So with every evening, you're probably gonna get a little bit stronger. Hopefully, because if you let them through, they will bomb your base and kill you. Yeah, that's it for you if they get past. Night survived, let's move on. So AJ just found out that his friends can't reach him because the cultists are jamming the signal. So we're gonna have to set out and blow up the three generators that are being used to jam us. Now those generators are hidden throughout the open world, and you can see them in a variety of locations as you explore. Now in this next one, we're going to be taking the generator from out from under the nose of a very scary enemy. That's not a good looking cave. No. And a friend. A terrifying friend. I don't think that's a friend, Kim. The Yeti seems upset by the traditional karate greeting of shooting you in the face. Oh, and he's hitting you hard. So 
So we have the opportunity to kill Yeti. But as you can see, it's uh, not in the cards for us today. Yep. If you want to fight the Yeti, you can definitely do that. You can take them down, but uh, it's at your own risk. That's it. We're going to stay on mission here and take out the generator. And Oh, he's still there. Okay. Just keep going. Got you. Swarm to get away, punch him in the face. Mm, gouge his eye. He's shaking it off. You just gotta escape now. It's time to run. Yeah, fight or flight, AJ. Fight or flight. Literally flight. Here we go. This is a great view of the world you're about to explore. Mm hmm. This is a whole new area that you haven't seen before, so. Take some time, wander around, see what you can find. There may be some secrets. Yeah, if you enjoy the Himalaya segments, you're gonna love this. It's a really beautiful, snowy environment with uh, some great wildlife. If you enjoy snow-covered yaks, you are gonna flip for this DLC. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're Kim and Ari, your Far Cry 4 com devs. You can find us online on Twitter at Far Cry Game, or on Facebook at Far Cry. And if you want to send me treats like combos or juicy fruit, you can send them to Ari, care of Ubisoft Montreal Studio. Perfect. Get the season pass and save 20% on new downloadable contents. Get 12 missions, including an exclusive day one mission and the Valley of the Yetis campaign, plus a new multiplayer mode and additional weapons.